Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel short VBA code series that is running into my channel. So friends, in today's video our topic will be the code with that we can insert multiple columns in just a single click. So watch this video till the end, this is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. At first we need to go to the developer tab. Here click on Visual Basic otherwise you can press directly Alt and F11 key from your keyboard to directly get into it. Now click on insert then click on module to insert a new module. Here as usual we need to start with our sub procedure name. So at first type sub following your sub procedure name I am naming it as insert columns right then hit enter come to the next line look at here the names of your sub procedure has been changed successfully now we need two variables at first so we are just using deem to declare our variables i am selecting i as an integer right put a comma now type your next variable just right here so that you do not need to write many times dim right and my next variable will be j and this will be also as type of integer so i'm selecting it hit enter button come to the next line now type active cell dot entire column select from the drop down menu hit the tab button to auto fill it dot now type select and select the select option hit the tab button hit enter and come to the next line now type on error go to last hit enter come to the next line type i equals to here we need an input box type input box open bracket open double inverted comma type your message like enter the number of columns close the double inverted comma put a comma now open again double inverted comma type insert columns right close the double inverted comma close the bracket hit enter now type for j equals to 1 2 i hit enter come to the next line type here select selection dot insert space shift colon equation xl to write put a comma now type copy origin colon equals to type here excel format from right or above hit enter come to the next line type next space j hit enter come to the next line type last colon hit enter come to the next line now type exit sub hit enter come to the next line now your code has been completed successfully close the visual basic editor now here go to the developer tab click on insert and insert a new button by clicking on this option here assign your macro we have just created that was insert columns rename it as insert columns now click on outside to get out of the design mode of button look at here if i type something and here i am typing 2 3 2 6 etc right now i want a column to be inserted into this b column right click on the insert column button type i think i need 10 columns right click on ok look at here 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and one column was extra, right? So that code works absolutely fine, right? So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video. I will give you the link of this workbook in my description box. Please check that. I will come back soon with another part of this video. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.